In this Blender Learning Series video, what we are going to be doing is unwrapping and potentially texturing the V tablet, just like we did the A last time. Try to get through unwrapping and texturing, but like last time, we might not get all the way there. But that's the goal we're shooting for. All right, let's go ahead and switch over to Blender. And once again, we select the one we want. Uh, let me turn screencast on. There you go. Now that's active over here. So we select the one we want. Hit Control and I on the keyboard to select everything else. And then the Delete key. Either X or Delete does the same thing. And Confirm Delete. Now we have our one that we're working with. So let's go ahead and file Save As. And grab one of the others and just change it from Token Whatever to Token V. So there we have our model saved. Let's go ahead and hit Tab to go into Edit Mode. Make sure everything is deselected by hitting A uh, once. And then again, if there was anything there, hit it another time. We just want everything to be deselected on the model. Now down here, these three that I'm hovering the mouse over. We want the middle one, which is Edge Select. So we go ahead and click on it. And now hold down the Shift and Alt keys and select the edges that we want to mark. Turn it around because we've got to make sure we get all of them on the back. And let's mark one there and one here. And I should have marked all of these. I'll also make sure the inner edge is selected all the way around. Sometimes it won't do what it's supposed to. Uh, and we just want. Uh, to get these two, one over here and one over here to break up the what would be a mess of triangles when we unwrap it. So now that we have it all, uh, all the edges marked, if we come over to shading UVs, uh, none, none of this helps us except this because we don't want shading, we want UVs, and we want to mark the scene. So we click on that, and it changes from the selected color to a, the selected yellow with a red underline. If we deselect the edges with the A key, we now see they are marked with a red uh, line. That means that those edges are now marked as seams for our UV map. Now, if we go up to the top here, where the cursor changes to a double-sided arrow, we click on it, we want to split the area. And just move this line and click wherever you want the area to be split at. At the bottom of the screen, you've got the option for view, select, add, and mesh. Right next to that on the left is a selection box. We want to click that and change it from 3D view to UV image editor. And that will give you this. Now with that, we want to, or now having that, we want to select all of the, or everything in the 3D editor on the left. And 
go back to shading UVs and where it says unwrap we want to click there and go down one to where it says unwrap again and select it and that will give you this. Now let's hit the G key over here in this UV editor and just drag everything off the screen or off the grid. Deselect it and now we want to open the token S image from before and that will give us the uh, texture that we used before. And now it's simply just selecting all of the parts and moving them up into the appropriate color spaces. Starting with the easiest. Want to move that up into the um, we'll move it over here. I think it was over here that we had these. So there's one. And if we need to check over here to make sure everything is lining up right, come down here. You've got edit mode, a uh, grade dot. We want to select that and go to texture. And that will put the texture on the model. If we hit tab, we can see that the V, the front of the V, is now covered in that darker gray. This is useful because we can also pin that pinpoint which ones we need to select. So we now want to do this uh, outer edge. If we switch to face select down here at the bottom and select a couple of faces on this it will tell us which set over here we need to be worried about and the easiest way to ensure you're getting the right ones is to come over here into the UV editor and select all of the faces you selected over here because then we want to deselect everything in the 3D window and then reselect it. And that shows us over here all of the faces as well as the ones we've selected. So now we can go about selecting the rest of them. And these two match up. So we're going to flip this one over. So it's going to be Control M and X for the first flip, and then Control M and Y for the second flip. Now we move it over and select all of these. Didn't mean to get that one. And we want to zoom in and get the last four vertices on this little edge. Because if we don't get all of them, this is what happens. And this is not beneficial for the modeling or for the texture map. So let's get that back, in, back down. Zoom in and grab that last vertice. There we go. Now we can move this up into the same area that the V is. Like so. And hit the P button to pin it. And if we check over here, we see now that, that edge is completely uh, dark gray, just like the outer face of the V. So now let's get uh, the inner portion here. So again, let's just select a few of them or all of them, depending. Hit the A button in the UV editor to select all that we've got selected, all that we have available here. 
and now back to the 3D editor, reselect everything, shows all the vertices over here, and we can now grab them all. Once we have them, we can pull them around, and for this, we want over here. Pin it, and we'll just move it up and over a little bit so it's out of the way. Now I think these are the next ones we need to be focused on. And the best way to tell that from, because we've looked at how to get it, how to figure out what you're working on from 3D editor showing up in the UV editor. But how do we get that to work the other way around? Well, there's this little button down here that says keep UV and edit mode mesh selection in sync. And what this does is by clicking it, you see all the faces over here are now selected, just like they're selected over here. If we deselect everything in the 3D editor, now they all stay over here. And now we can select faces over here, and it'll show up over here, telling us exactly which ones we've selected. And we see that, yes, these are the right ones. These are what we want. So what we're going to do is scale these down and move them up into this middle gray color. And now if we tab out, we can see that, yes, those are colored just like we wanted them. So we can now hit the tab button again. And it's time to do the last bit here, which is getting these and these lined up. And I find it best not to work in sync mode, uh, just because it can be a bit harder to control. Go ahead and pin those up there. So let's move this up and in, and we want it small enough that it just encompasses all of these for right here. So we hit the S key to scale it all down. And something along these lines, I believe. And let's give it a different orientation. Let's uh, flip it on the Y. So it'll be kind of different from the others. And now that we've done that, we can pin it. And now we come to these. These are the two sides of the outer edge over here. So first thing we need to do is get everything selected, like so. And now we can pull it up and scale it down, number one, and then figure out what we're working with. So we are working with this side, and if we, since we flipped the other one, we've got to flip this one to make it all line up. And now it's just playing around to get the uh, portions lined up here. 
Okay, let's see. We need this one at the top. Or bottom, I should say. So we need these and the ones they line up with. They're going to be on the other segment here. So we're not worrying with those just yet. Let's grab these. Okay, so that tells us which ones we need to be working with. And it's going to be, oh, didn't mean to have those selected. So we need to be up here a little bit. Uh, oh, no, other way. Something like this, I believe. Should be right. And now we get, we get the pleasure of moving everything around till it all lines up. So we're going to move this up all the way till that bottom edge over here lines up properly. Okay. Ah, uh, I see. So this one would be better this way. Down. I missed something up there. I'm not entirely sure what. There. Want all of these moving together. So we're saying this one starts at about there. And so we'll start there. Try that again. Okay, there we go. So got that one, now this needs to go up like so. Try this a little bit differently. Okay. Of 
going to mirror it on the Y again. And it will probably work out better this time. So now this one's in the right spot. Stretch this one like so. That lines up. Okay. We are back at it. These That's good. Now this one. Okay. And this one, just move it up there. Out of the way now. This needs to come over just a touch. Like so. Alright, so that's what we have so far, those two. Now for the others. Now let's go ahead and pin this. And grab this one and slide it over. Oh, I let time get away from me. Well, uh, we will let that be it for now. So I will see you all in the next one, um, where we will hopefully finish this texture mapping of the third token for our game. Until then. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed the video you just watched. If you did, uh, right here, let's move my head over, there we go, right here is going to be a, another video uh, in the future for the next in this particular series. And over here is going to be the previous video in this series, along with a subscribe button down below it. So feel free to give that a hit and uh, be sure to like 
the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and let's see, oh yeah, be sure to leave a comment. I'd appreciate knowing what your thoughts are. Until the next one, everyone.